Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. We live in central Illinois, uh, along a small river called the Vermilion River. Uh, this morning, I went down to the river to take some pictures. Uh, this is the beautiful time of the day uh, to be down along the river. Uh, we have not had rain for quite a few days, so the water of the river is quite low. I love this time of the day, and all I can hear is the birds singing in the background. Here you can see the rock in the bottom of the river. Okay, let's go to today's video. In this video, I would like to talk to you about sources. Recently, a viewer wrote me and he asked me, uh, could you give me some idea how to make a simple sauce for my stir-frying dishes? Unfortunately, there's no simple answer to this question because there are many possible ways how you could make a sauce for your stir-fry dishes. And there are almost infinite variations. And to me, this is the benefit of stir frying because you have a lot of flexibilities to create unique sauces that you need for different type of uh, food ingredients. For example, you can make a dish with almost no sauce at all, or just a very thin sauce. On the other hand, uh, you can make a dish with a very thick sauce, almost a gravy-like sauce. And because all of these possible variations, it makes it difficult for me to give you the type of recommendations that uh, will work for all the different type of food ingredients as well as different types of dishes. And but one thing I could say for sure, uh, sauces definitely make a huge difference to the culinary experience of a dish. Uh, as it can be an entirely different dining experience when you have a dish with uh, no sauce at all or a dish with a lot of sauce. And it is because of these variations that you can create in stir-frying, it provides ultimate creativity that you have in, available to you in create distinct dishes. Even though you might be using exactly the same ingredients and also the same seasoning strategy. So in this video, I would like to tell you the four different basic ingredients that I use for making my sauce. The first ingredient that I use to make my sauce is oyster sauce. It is a very versatile sauce. And you can take a look at this video to learn more about the history as well as the usage of oyster sauce. And the second ingredient for my sauce making is hoisin sauce. Uh, I use hoisin sauce in combination with oyster sauce in many different dishes. And this video will provide you more information uh, regarding the history as well as the common usage of hoisin sauce. I use them alone, but I often use them in combination. And in this video, uh, you will learn about how to use them together uh, to create different type of flavor for your dish. The first ingredients that I use uh, is soy sauce. And I use two kinds of soy sauce, a light soy sauce and a dark soy sauce. The four ingredients that I use in making my sauce is cornstarch. And now with these four basic ingredients, you can make almost any type of sauces that you would like. Now, I put all my sauces in squeeze bottles. It makes dispensing much simpler and also far more efficient. This will allow you to adjust the flavor of your dish with greater spontaneity. And of course, it is also more fun. In some of the dishes, I only use oyster sauce. And this is particularly true with vegetable dishes. And I normally use about uh, one to two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Uh, this makes the dish more savory. And I often adjust the amount of oyster sauce that I add to the dish, uh, depending what the ingredients is called for. And I never put in a fixed amount even for the same dish. I always make small changes every time I cook. You can consider that this is part of the strategy of flavor chasing by constantly modifying the flavor to find the optimum flavor that you are looking for. You will be surprised by making small changes that could have big difference to the final outcome of your dish. 
Uh, and then there will be dishes that I will use a combination of oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. Now, as oyster sauce provides a taste of savory to the dish, a hoisin sauce actually adds sweetness to the dish. And in my case, I usually use uh, two parts of oyster sauce to one part of hoisin sauce. And usually, a dish like this would be sufficiently salty for me, but if I want to have more salt, uh, I will add soy sauce. Uh, here is an example that I am cooking a stir fry dish of teriyaki chicken. I start out with about two tablespoons of oyster sauce and followed by one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And then I add one tablespoon of a dark soy sauce. Uh, the result is a sauce that resembles teriyaki flavor. Uh, this is a very simple way to create a teriyaki sauce. But the nice thing is that you can make adjustments accordingly depending on how you like the sauce uh, by varying the amount of these three different ingredients. Uh, both the oyster sauce and hoisin sauce uh, contain cornstarch, so you already have a thickening agent uh, in the sauce. Uh, and then you can use the same strategy uh, to create a teriyaki sauce uh, for your vegetable dishes. Again, you can make adjustments accordingly. Because of the presence of thickening agents uh, in these sauces, uh, you create a light sauce that covers the food ingredients. However, if you want to make a lot of sauce, uh, you can use cornstarch to uh, make a gravy-like sauce for the dish. Uh, here, I use a cornstarch suspension uh, with one part of cornstarch uh, to five parts of water. I set the stove to low heat, uh, and as I continue to stir the content, the cornstarch will start to thicken. There's a little bit try and error in this process uh, because sometimes you might create a uh, gravy that is too thick, and in this case, you can thin it by adding some water. And so here you have it. Uh, I show you different ways to make sauces uh, using the four basic ingredients. That is oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and cornstarch. Of course, you can make the adjustment to the sauces that you create by adding other ingredients, such as using seasoning agents, in my case, uh, from my masala daba. Making sauce is part of my uh, fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Uh, without any question, the flavor chasing is the most important aspect of home cooking because that's the only way for you to continue to cook is you like what you cook. If you'd like to learn more about flavor chasing, uh, please take a look at this video. I post a video each day to demonstrate my fast cooking system uh, so that uh, you will be able to cook every day. Because home cooking is probably the best way uh, to improve both your physical as well as psychological wellness. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.